are back with another challenge. My name is Erica. I am an AFA certified group fitness instructor and RRCA certified run coach. I, a few weeks ago, did the 4x4x48 David Goggins challenge, and this weekend we're taking on the Yeti challenge. We're going to be running five miles every four hours for 24 hours, and tomorrow is actually my birthday, so I'm actually adding two miles to run my age. Let's get started. All right, five miles in the books. The challenge has officially started. I forgot to mention, but you can follow me at Endurance Field Faith. Like I said, I did the David Goggins challenge a few weeks ago. That's four by four by 48. And due to this quarantine stay at home situation, I thought that doing these challenges would be a fun way to make lemonade out of lemons and something that I just normally wouldn't be able to do uh, if we weren't in this situation. And I have my birthday tomorrow, like I mentioned, and just very low expectations given everything that's going on. That's just not really a priority right now. And this challenge is giving me something to look forward to, and it's going to be a memorable way to ring in the birthday as I'll be running into my birthday at midnight tonight and running uh, my new age. So I'm really excited to celebrate my birthday this way in a way that I probably never would normally. So I'm glad that you're here joining me. Let's go take a shower and rest. And there it is, first five miles in the books. Challenge is kicked off. All right, and it's time for some breakfast and refuel. We're gonna have some tea. We're going to have a green smoothie and we're gonna drink some water. Love this on a local clinic. So many people are putting hearts and different things in the window to show um, that we are all still in this together. Love it. All right, forgot to show this after the first run, but we got 11 miles in the books. 10 miles in, two runs down, four to go in the Yeti Challenge, woo! All right, so we're refueling. I just ate like a bag of granola, no shame. Have some granola, raspberries, blackberries, and yogurt. Drinking some water and catching up in some office. There it is, lifetime sitting empty. But guess what? We got this little sidewalk motivation right there. Even the sidewalk believes in us. We got this. Woo! Almost halfway there. Point three to go and halfway. Woo! Watch says 16.4. We got 15 for the day. Halfway there. Woo! And this cutie came to say hi. She likes to wait in the window when I'm running. She knows because I put my shoes on and go out the door instead of getting in the car. So sweet. I'm sure, no surprise, I'm going to stick with what works in my David Goggins challenge. So we're having some corn, we're having some baby cubes, and egg white omelet. Not gonna risk it having something that I don't know will sit well with my stomach. So I mentioned that I've been having a little soreness in my legs. So I'm going to throw in some of this base electrolyte salt, two scoops into my water. I use that when I'm running uh, marathons or ultras. It comes in a little chapstick tube and you just lick your finger and then dip it in the salt, shake it, and then lick the salt off. So hopefully that will help. That always helps when I'm racing. So I hope that it will help as well.
dinner is served. The omelet turned into more of a egg scramble, but that's okay. All right, five more miles in to get 20. Next run will be 25 and into my birthday. We got 12 more miles to go. All right, time for a soda. And some snacks and a bubble. It's 11.48, but it's time to get up and get ready to run into my birthday. Thankfully, I got some sleep and it was easier than trying to sleep during the David Goggins 4x4x48 challenge. So I'm thankful for that and thankful that I only have one more set of miles after this and some more sleep to come. And also, here's this cutie who's sleeping with us. Hi, Frisk. Oh, sweet girl. So cute. All right, we're 25 miles in. Ian, I ran into my birthday. Yay! We have one more run and seven more miles to go to get to 32, my new age. Uh, took this run a little slower and just kind of enjoyed the pace. I was able to fall asleep after my 8 p.m. run. I took a salt bath, showered up, and laid down and was able to fall asleep. So that was nice. Got like an hour of sleep. It's time to eat a little more food, drink some water, and get some more sleep after a quick shower. And then we'll be done after one more run. Woo woo woo! And we got five more miles in the book at midnight for my birthday. Watch says five miles for my birthday. Only seven more to go. All right, it's 3.50. I was able to get like maybe two hours of sleep. It's time for our last set of runs. Seven more miles. Let's do this. Woo! Five more in the books for 30 miles and I am at the official Yeti birthday challenge, sort of finish line. Two more miles to rack up my new age now that it isn't officially my birthday. Felt good on this run. Got about two hours of sleep between midnight and now, so that was nice. Thought about how each mile was the last time I would run this, which motivated me to keep going. Thankful to my parents for run chaperoning at midnight and my friend for run chaperoning this run. Time to get two more and call it quits. And five more completes the official Yeti challenge. Woo woo! It was hard to motivate myself to go out again, but I did it. And I thought about how each mile was the last time I would run that. Now it's time to get two more and call it done. All right, watch says 10 miles for the day. I finished the official challenge. Woo, 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 woo. Time to get two more to run my new age. All right, last two miles of the Yeti birthday challenge are in the books. It was difficult to motivate myself to go back out after finishing my last five because it got a little colder and my legs were tired, but I knew it was worth it to celebrate my birthday and my new age the proper way and I'm glad that I did it to get a little bit slower. And now it's all done! Initial thoughts on this challenge are that for some reason, I don't know why, I found it harder than the 4x4x48 David Goggins challenge. I don't know why that extra mile in my route had a lot of stoplights. So it felt like I didn't have as much recovery time and calves felt a little more sore. Also, the weather was warmer. It wasn't hot. It was nice, but maybe just lost more electrolytes. 
Um, once I started putting the base salt in my water, that really helped. But still feeling more tired than I did after the 4x4x48. But glad I did it. Awesome way to celebrate quarantined birthday and super proud. Reflection coming up. And now it's time to actually take a real shower, wash this hair, get some rest, and then celebrate the birthday. Have all the fun things. Ice cream cake, that's what I'm about. That kept pushing me forward as I was running. Woo, so proud. Let's get some rest. All right, it's time for the Yeti birthday challenge, five by four by 24 race recap. I heard about this challenge after completing the David Goggins 4x4x48 challenge, which I completed a few weeks ago. That challenge had you running four miles every four hours for 48 hours. Now the Yeti birthday challenge, you run five miles every four hours for 24 hours. I decided to do the challenge to celebrate my birthday because Celebrating your birthday in quarantine is not normal and I wanted some way to celebrate that was unique and still have me feel excited for the day. Also, it was perfect that the Yeti challenge had you running 30 miles and I only needed to add two more extra miles to run my new age. I'll let you do the math on your own. So I felt very excited to run my new age and do this challenge running into my birthday. Said, we are in a quarantine stay at home due to COVID-19. I'm not grateful for the situation. I am grateful for the opportunity to challenge myself in unique ways that normally I would not be able to do. As far as training, I did not do any particular training leading up to this. Prior to this quarantine, I am a run coach at a local gym, so I was leading group runs where I ran 10 to 12 miles, Every few weekends, I do run five days a week. I cross train one day and I rest one day. Other than that, nothing real substantial as far as training. Like I said, a few weeks prior, I did complete the 4x4x48 David Goggins challenge. So I had a good idea of what I was getting myself into. Again, like the David Goggins challenge, I didn't fuel anything out of the ordinary. I ate normally what I would eat and bought several bags of various granola to add and snack on to carb up. This round was much better than the David Goggins challenge. It was 60s, sunny, and beautiful. However, as soon as I posted to my friend who joined me virtually doing the David Goggins challenge, that the weather was so beautiful, the next run, halfway through, it started to rain. And it felt like that rain cloud did not leave me the entire time. I went into my house laughing, kind of annoyed because it was just enough rain to be annoying. And I hate the feeling of rain falling on your face. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It annoys me. Go into my house. Then when I get ready to go to my next run, the sky is perfectly clear. The second I step out of my door, what do you think happens? It started to rain again. That rain cloud followed me to about halfway and then it left beautiful skies. The training, I had a five mile route planned that I just followed on busier streets just to keep me safe if I didn't have a run chaperone. Now, one thing I will note that's different from this challenge to the David Goggins challenge is I don't know what it is, but that one extra mile from four miles to five miles each time made all the difference. It felt like even though it only took me about 40 minutes each time, it felt like it was an hour between getting ready to run all the stoplights on the busier route that I chose and running the extra mile. So recovery time this time felt like it was lacking and it was harder to rest and recover. Like I said in the David Goggins challenge, I ate, drank a full water bottle, and tried to rest, not necessarily sleep, for one hour in between each run, which really was key. And this time I did it throughout the night. I'm learning, people. I'm learning. Sleep this time was not as difficult as it was during the David Goggins challenge. I still made signs to mark each mileage and posted those on social media. I had friends that were following along. 
but I was able to calm down and get some decent sleep. Also, knowing that this challenge was only 24 hours was very helpful. However, I did find that the warmer weather was a challenge. I found that early on the first day, my legs were very sore. And what I simply did is I have base electrolyte salt that I use in the summer for long runs and marathon trainings. And I just added a few scoops of that to my water each time. And that really seemed to do the trick. It didn't taste good in the water because I could definitely taste it, but it did the trick. For fueling, in the morning, I just drank my green smoothie and had a cheesesteak like normal. For lunch, I had some yogurt, some grapes, some carrots, some nuts. And for dinner, again, I had the egg white omelet with avocado, mushrooms, queso fresco. I had some corn on the side and baby cucumbers. I ate granola freely throughout the whole challenge just to keep the carbs going. Other than that, I want to thank my run chaper for joining me again to help keep me safe. And funny about that, when I ran the midnight run, which was running into my birthday, which was so fun, my dad and stepmom joined me. And like I said, this time I ran a busier route instead of a neighborhood route that I ran in the David Goggins challenge. So I knew that it would be a little trickier for them to be following me in a car. On the busiest road of the route, they were following me very slowly. And I even thought to myself, if someone else sees this, they're going to think this is really suspicious. I mean, it was midnight, but there are still some cars out. Sure enough, when I finished the run, they told me that as soon as I turned off that road onto the next road, that a Domino's driver pulled in front of them and made them stop, got out and asked them what was going on and why they were driving so suspiciously, only to find out that I was his daughter and he was following me while running. I finished the run at 4 a.m. and after that, I ran two miles, like I said, to get my new birthday age. All I wanna say is that last five miles and that last two miles, it was really hard to get motivated. I was ready to be done. I'm definitely glad that I did the David Goggins challenge first and this challenge last because I really felt, I don't know what it is, that this challenge was tougher of the two. And maybe it was just my head wasn't in the right space. I don't know what it was. It was definitely a fun way to celebrate my birthday, but just felt tougher. Those last two miles were a struggle. And it had also gotten colder from when I ran my five miles at 4 a.m. So I really did not feel like running those last two. But I knew that I had come so far and that I needed to finish up and do it right. So I ran each run every four hours. So I started at 8 a.m. I ran 12, 4, 8, 12, 4, and finished at around 5.30 with those last two miles. Post-race, I was so happy that I did it, so happy to celebrate my birthday in a unique way, and so happy to be ready to celebrate with chips and queso and ice cream cake. That's what I'm about. After the race was all done, I took a shower and finally washed my hair, which I did not rush throughout the challenge. I would simply take a two to three minute quick shower, rinsing off and leaving the hair because this hair does not dry after four hours only. Some tips that I would say if you're looking to do this challenge, definitely make mile markers and take pictures and post those to social media. The virtual cheering really helped again, motivate me and encourage me to keep also, like I said, take a two to three hour between each run, have your clothes laid out. When I did the David Goggins challenge, I did have to wash my clothes after every two runs because it was colder and I only have two sets of cold clothes. This time it was so exciting to actually be able to just wear different outfits because it was warmer and I could run in a tank top and shorts. Holla! It felt amazing. Also, eat, drink a full water bottle and rest, not necessarily sleep between every run. That is key. And if you're a woman, recruit run chaperones to help keep you safe. I am so grateful that I had the opportunity to do this challenge and it is something that I'll never forget. A very special and unique way to celebrate my birthday and my new age. I definitely suggest this challenge to anyone that's interested, although my favorite was the David Goggins challenge. If you want to 
for you to hear more about that video, go ahead and look up here to click on that video. Also, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get notified of when I do future videos and you can follow me at Endurance Fueled Faith. That's all. Go get after it and have a great day.